Hey there, YouTube fans. How you going, man? Hey, from the title of this video, you know we're going to talk about a Zempic. So how am I going? Well, um, I'm up to basically the starting dose now. Um, I had on Tuesday uh, roughly 0 0.25 milligrams. And touch wood, the headache seems to have gone away, thank goodness. A little bit of discomfort in the stomach and things like that. But what I did have this morning, though, unfortunately, is and yesterday, is quite a lot of fatigue. And it's been that bad that I couldn't go to the gym today. Certainly not, not so far. Maybe later on, but I doubted that I'm going to get there today. Hopefully, I might try and go tomorrow, but just very, very fatigued. Um, now, apparently, Zempic takes five weeks to start working properly and you can now check with your doctor with all of this but I, i've been doing the research and what i saw and as i said please check with your doctor was you could actually um stop at 0 0.5 if that works for you um but apparently the the dose is up to one milligram which is what my pen says there um so five weeks to get to a working state and then if you did stop it, five weeks to get out of your body. Now, here's the thing. If you are going to lose weight on this, you may have to take it long term because as soon as you stop, your hunger is going to come back. This is, this is the scary thing. But what I said to the surgeon that did my gastric sleeve, uh, for those of you who haven't followed my channel, um, is that just the fact of losing weight is going to help i hope that this mic's not swinging everything around sorry if that is try and stabilize that stabilize that a bit um my little box there is my microphone box is swinging around the anyway yeah so the it's going to take five weeks to get to the steady state and then five weeks if you stop it but if you stop it your hunger is going to get come back and you may start putting on weight again. But the very fact of losing weight is going to help with a lot of metabolic markers, especially if you're type 2 diabetic or you've got high blood pressure and things like that. So that's something that you have to think about, um, and that's something I will be thinking about. Uh, it, it hasn't really affected my hunger yet. It feels very, very similar. I do have moments where, and this is after two weeks, Moments where I think oh, I don't ever want to eat again in my whole life, and then all of a sudden, massive hunger. So checking my blood sugars in the morning, it's five point nine in the Australian standard, almost like really stable. Like every single day, it's been five point nine, which has been really freaky. And this morning, I uh, I slept in a bit more, and I had lychee fruits again last night before bed and it was 6.1 so it's almost no different so there's a poster behind me um where that's in the pre-diabetic range it's not full diabetes but it's a pre-diabetic range anyway um look my goal is to keep going you know um i'm just keep keep trying it so at this 0.25, roughly that I am, I was at um, 16 clicks, which is very, very close. I think 18 clicks on the, on the dial of the pen, um, of the needle pen, it was um, 0 0.25. Um, and then you stay at this 0 0.25 where I am now for a month, which is great because then I can hopefully get, re re get used to that dose before I go up any higher. Um, so that's what I've learned. That's what I'm doing. I'm a little concerned that if I'm this kind of fatigue, I can't go to the gym and I can't even work. Um, but I'm, I've, I've felt fatigue for years. <laughs> so fatigue for me is not really a new thing. Um, so I'll just try and push through it if I can. So that's where I'm at. That's an update. Um, so far so good yeah like um, the blood pressure also has been pretty much what I'm used to 
it's around 140 something over 80, 80 or 90. The other day, this is not on a training day, it was 139 over 80, which I thought was magical, really good. So certainly I've had other GLP-1 antagonists or agonists, whatever they call it, mim- mimics, um, like by Durion and um, Saxander and things like that. And for some reason, they, at the time, at the time they did push my blood pressure through the roof. So, so far we don't have that issue, touch wood. All right, guys. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, have a look around, and thank you for watching, and God bless, guys. Teacher Sal out.